Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm looking at my subscriber count right now. It seems like the channel's just reached 400,000 today. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. I'm not going to, but I really want to thank you all for really liking my quirky, really weird Minecraft ideas. Got a lot of surprises coming along, so all of you guys can stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining. As today's video suggests, I am going to start playing Minecraft, except I have also bound the game to your inventory. What this means is that I have successfully connected the gameplay of Minecraft to your inventory. So as you can see, the inventory now has a green square over here and a red square over there. I'll explain those in a second. But you can see Minecraft terrain is actually generated in your inventory. Now what I need to do to demonstrate this first of all is get some food and that will get plopped right into my inventory. Go away, <laughs> villager. You're not part of this. So let's get some carrots, let's get some wheat and um, explain the whole process. Hey dude. Okay, so I'm going to beckon this cow to come towards me, and what happens is, the cows will enter the game in my inventory. <laughs> now I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what's happening. So these cows are walking inside my backpack. Now the red square means it's exited, and this cow has successfully exited my inventory. But the game includes your inventory now, so any mob that you go near, will enter your backpack. I'm going to say backpack for a bit because I think that makes a little more sense. It's like they're inside your bag. So it's going to continue walking around and I can put this guy back in my backpack and he can exit it again. And he wants to keep following but that's not going to happen because I added a cooldown. So the, the cow can't enter your inventory uh, too quickly after it's exited but I think that's a bit of time has passed. And then we have it. He's back in there. So let's summon a pig and I'm going to push the pig into my bag like so. And now we've got a pig inside my inventory like the cow. Now what I can do is also use my carrot to lure the pig towards my mouse. So that's what happens in the game. If you have a carrot, let's say I put the carrot over here, the pig will actually move towards the carrot and eat it. Although you can't breed it because there's only one pig. I can push the carrot over there. And there we go. Um, the pig's going to fly <laughs> up the tree. Um, I can move it down here. And now if I wanted the pig to exit my bag, I can just do that because that's where the exit square is. And then we have it, the pig is back in the real world. I think it's like a 10 second cooldown that I added. The pig can re-enter. And now, there we go. The pig will walk all the way up, <laughs> except the, the cow's deleted it. <laughs> so I can do that. Now the cow's not left behind. I can do this and the cow will eat the, the wheat as usual. Let's add another pig to the game. And if I put a carrot there, they will breed. And now you've got three pigs because that's what happens. I can also breed the cow, there we go. Let's put a bit of wheat there. Um, didn't work. <laughs> Let's put that back. There we go, three cows. Sometimes it doesn't work because it's, you know, it's very precise. Everything has to be so precise. All right, this guy's exited. Good job, you found the, the exit lane. So the problem that presents itself here is that you can walk around and sometimes the, the mobs will just flee out of your bag without you really knowing, so. You can be walking around here and the, the mobs will continue to move in your bag. So for example, let's say I added a creeper to the game, like so. You can see the creeper is now in your inventory, which is fine. Like, you're not going to die from it because it's in your bag and it can't explode. But the moment it exits, which it might take a while to exit, you won't notice and the creeper will explode. <laughs> because it can't get back into your bag, it's right next to you. It will blow up. This might take a bit of time. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> and I'm dead. There's no death screen, I got rid of it. You probably didn't know, but there is a game rule that can get rid of the death screen, but I died and that can happen. But there is still a creeper in there. Same thing goes with, let's say, a cave spider, which I've also added. So you can have hostile mobs in your inventory. There is a way to kill it. I don't know what's happening. Is he trying to ride it? <laughs> but that can happen. You can have hostile mobs in your backpack and they can exit your bag and you will die or get hit because you wouldn't really know. So what you can do is like surround the creeper with swords and that can actually kill the creeper like that. And it just killed the spider <laughs> and I got two string. So you can have a bunch of pigs and then if you kill it with a sword like so, you can actually get the food out of it. So um, I'm not able to actually hit the pig with the sword because it overwrites it, which is one thing that I did. This may remind you a lot of Sethling's mechanics, but he didn't have mobs and I've added mobs to the game, so that's one thing that I did, but his mechanic is a lot more uh, elaborate than mine. Let me kind of demonstrate what's happening here so you're not completely lost by this. What I have is a lot of mobs 
being spawned in this little makeshift inventory. <laughs> he just died because he tricked on the sword. Um, I have this inventory here that's obviously fake. But what happens is um, anything that I add to my inventory will get spawned. God. Will get spawned in this little box. So I can have carrots I can put everywhere here. Like that, for example. And you can see that the items are in their respective squares. And I just have a lot of different modules that are running. So pigs will get, you know, they'll like carrots. So they'll get lured towards the carrots. Um, if they go near a sword, they die. The items get like, pushed into your bag. And if a mob gets near you, it gets pushed into the inventory. and Everything like that. I understand it's a little bit complex, but I um, hope you guys get an... Whoa. That's not what I wanted to happen. It's a little bit complex, but I hope you guys have kind of an idea of what's going on. So there is an inventory that is built at spawn, and that is what's managing all the movement. So uh, the pigs are actually moving naturally, the cows are moving naturally, and everything like that. So I thought 400,000 subscribers, I'll do something kind of big that I haven't done in a while. I spent some of my free time handling all of this, but thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. As always, you can leave a like and leave your ideas in the comments. Maybe not something as difficult as this, but if I like it, I might even give it a go. Thanks for watching. Take care.